just talk? Can we just talk? Talk about where we're coming before we get lost. Woo! Uh, ah, ah, ah. I never fail like this. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Junior's World of Soul. I am back with the new video. As you can hear, I came in with Khalid's hit right now. This joint is a banger. I am talking about talk, produced by Disclosure. This song is a banger. It's like number 44 in the charts right now. But this joint is smooth, nice little drink in your hand, and just groove to the side. Like, how can you not like this record? You know what I mean? But that's why I had to come in with it. Um, listen, listen. Uh, this uh, to do this video, I I'm just so excited because I just came back from visiting my brother Sin, who I talk about in all my videos because he's much of part of the Junior's world as so as I am. But um, I went to uh, Michigan and, and hung out with him and had such an amazing time. It's another one for the books, man. It was so memorable and it was all about music. It was all about love. It was all about family. Everything. So I definitely, definitely have to shout out my brother Sin. His wife, Todd, who's my sister-in-law, my mom and dad, Alicia and Keith, for showing me such a great time, man. And you know, they always say home is where the heart is, and I know that home is now in Michigan with y'all. So I want to thank y'all. Y'all showed me such a good time, and it was just an amazing time, and I definitely had to shout y'all out. But y'all know what we're here for. We are here for current R&B bangers. Now, if you're new to Junior's World of Soul, well, while you're watching, you can like this, you can share it, you know, all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel. But um, current R&B bangers is all about, you know, um, really giving, you know, R&B artists another platform because y'all know right now R&B is not on the top of the list when it comes to genres, you know what I mean? And it just kind of sucks that we don't have a lot of platforms. We do a lot of complaining on social media, but we don't have a lot of uh, platforms. So I said, me as an R&B lover, if I'm going to talk the talk, I'm going to walk the walk. So I wanted to create a platform that can give R&B artists, you know, some shine. I'm talking about un unsigned, signed, whatever. All R&B music, all good music, because listen, they trying to tell us the R&B and so it's dead and it's not. It's alive and well. And I prove it every week with current R&B bangers. You know what I'm saying? That's why I had to come in with Kali joint. Like, this joint just a knocker. You know what I'm saying? So, hopefully, y'all enjoy this list. I got five joints for y'all this week. So, hopefully, y'all are ready to talk and ready to get into this. So, let's just get into this joint right now. So, the next joint, the first joint. I'm saying the next joint. I got told about something else. But the next joint is... uh. Coming from the boy August Alcina. As y'all can hear him in the background with basically this is his classic, to be honest with you. And uh this is uh I love that shit with him and uh Trinidad James, if I'm not mistaken, whoever he may be. Mushy! But um <laughs> but um you know one thing I loved about August Alcina that really drew me into him and you know his music was his story. You know what I'm saying? Like, his story, it was like, August's story is just, woo! You know what I'm saying? And he has that soul to him. And that's what really, that's what I love. Like, let me connect to your music. And that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Connecting to somebody's story and connecting to their music. And that's how I really, really connected to him. Because, I mean, when I heard the song, I love that. You know, I'm like, I was like, okay, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But once I started looking at interviews and things like that, I was like, okay, this dude's story, I'm really, in, you know, really connected. So then I, um, then I went and listened to his, uh, his, uh, EP actually downtown. He had the song downtown on it. He had, uh... Is it Don't Forget About Me, I'm, if I'm not mistaken? It's, uh, it's It was like eight joints, and I like played that like crazy because I really liked it. And one thing, people can talk about August's voice and all that, but he has some soul to it. And that's what I really, really like about it. And he tells his story through his music. You know what I'm saying? And I really, really enjoy that. And with Mary being my favorite artist, it makes sense. That's how I connect to her music because she puts up her, her truth and her story her her life into her music and that's what August did so I really you know was a fan then he came out with uh, uh, Testimony which I thought was a great album you know what I mean um, I was definitely um, promoting it you know on social media like crazy when it came out in 2014 I like the joint he got with Young Jeezy um, 
It was some other. It was a lot of joints. I haven't heard it in a minute. Don't don't kill me. But I haven't heard it in a minute. But I, you know, I was playing it like crazy, and I just like it. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, August. He's the type of guy that I say it's like the industry don't really understand him because he's not of the industry. You know, his life is, this is his life. And then he started going through personal issues with friends and family and then, you know, things with the label and things like that. And August kind of went away, you know what I mean? And the industry makes you do that. And I could definitely understand. It's just, you know, it was like, you know, the, the friends that you had before you went in, you not friends with them no more because then they done threw you on the table for some fame or some money. It's sad. It's a sad thing. You know what I mean? And I love the fact that he got cool with Jada and Will and they kind of took him under their wing and, you know, um, when he showed his story on um, on a red table, I thought that was dope. You know what I'm saying? I just love August's story. So it was good that, you know, um, he started, you know, bringing out music early, like later last year. He brought out a video, you know what I'm saying? He put a little weight up on him, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he um, he started doing music again. Because the music industry can make you not love music anymore. So I totally understand what made him be really removed from it. But you got to find a love in it again. So it was so dope to know, you know, on his social media, he was like, I'm bringing out a new EP. And it was dope. So I was like, okay. So finally on Valentine's Day, it seemed like everybody wanted to bring out a song on Valentine's Day. It was just too much for me. But, uh, you know, I saw that he brought his album out. And I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I want to check it out. The album is, uh, not the album, I can call it EP albums, whatever. But um, the song, the album is called Forever and a Day. And um, I listened to the album, and the first joint got me. And I was like, this joint is a banger. So I was like, I do want to talk about this joint on Current Army Bangers. So here is the first joint on Current Army Bangers. This is entitled Forever and a Day. And um, here we go. It goes a little something like this. Just groove to it, y'all. Here we go. You know what I'm saying? We can, you know, people kind of bash his August and his voice a lot, but there's depth to it, there's soul to it, there's feeling to it, you know what I mean? And I really enjoy it, and I think the beat knocks, and to open the album with this, I was like, okay, August, this is how you do it, you know what I'm saying? Nice little beat, it's current for sure, you know what I'm saying? And But you can tell August is putting his artistry into it, you know what I mean? So I thought, you know what I'm saying, I talk about this joint, I like it. So, um... This joint is again entitled Forever in a Day. Um, it's on um, all streaming platforms. Y'all put it in the comment section. Tell me what y'all think about the, the EP. You know what I'm saying? And tell me maybe your favorite joints on there. But I know this Forever in a Day, the joint, the opening of the album is definitely a banger. So that's why I had to talk about it. So that's the first joint of current RB bangers, Forever in a Day. And that is by August Alcina. Alrighty, so let's get into the next artist who I am so excited to talk about. So, so, so happy to talk about. I am talking about who you hear in the background. My boy, PJ Moore. And I am so happy that he finally got the Grammy that he deserved. I wish he would have got something for his album, Gumbo, because I think that was an amazing album. Um, but he kind of still ended up getting a, a, a Grammy for it because he got a Grammy for this song, uh, his version of How Deep Is Your Love off the uh, Gumbo Unplugged album, which I think is an amazing live album. If y'all have not heard it, you're missing out. You know what I'm saying? So I was so happy that he got the Grammy win. You know what I'm saying? Because as, uh, as an R&B lover and as a soul music lover, he gives you Stevie, but he has his own artistry, and that is great. He still gives you that old soul, but it's still current, and it still can connect. You know what I'm saying? And he's just a dope artist. That's why he's one of my favorite artists out right now. You know what I mean? And I was so, you know, happy to interview him, you know what I'm saying, and talk to him and let him know how much of a fan I am. And, you know, I've been a fan since 2000, and actually 
15, you know, I was kind of late on board, but I became a fan. It was so good to talk to him and how much my grandmother loved his father, and I did not know that, you know what I'm saying? So it was just so dope, but for him to get that Grammy, it was like... I was so happy when I found that he won. That was a big, big win for me. If anybody else didn't win, I was happy that he did. You know what I'm saying? Him and Leon Bridges, I was so happy that they won because they represent R&B the right way, so I was so, so excited. But um, listen, if y'all have not checked out Gumbo, or if y'all have not checked out Gumbo Unplugged, you are missing out on two great bodies of work, and I definitely recommend y'all go listen to it. But... You know, um, I was happy that, um, you know, after the Grammy win, he kept putting up that he was working with JoJo. And I was like, whoa, I was like, you working with JoJo? Okay, because y'all, JoJo to me is so underrated. You know, the girl has went through so much as, you know, as a kid and expressing her music and going through stuff with the label and all this kind of stuff and the label not doing it right and you know all this because the girl can sing she can blow you know what i mean and at her age she just was so you know it was just like the notes she was hitting like on get out like i'm like oh, you know this girl is so far. i think she's that dope you know what i mean so for pj to be working with her i was like what is he gonna do with her what are they gonna do so he said that the song was coming out on valentine's day and let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. When this song came out, you know, uh, it normally comes out on midnight, but I was headed to uh, to Michigan, and um, I was, like, in the airport, and I was like, let me listen to this song. And I was like, there was nobody around me because I was at my gate first, and there was nobody there, and I was like, ooh, let's play this song. And y'all, I had on my headphones, and I was just vibing out, and my hands was in the air, and I was just going crazy because I was like, this record is dope this is what a duet supposed to sound like i was so so happy and um listen i just went crazy and it's crazy because as soon as i got to uh michigan my brother asked me yo did you hear um you know uh pj morton and jojo new joint i said absolutely and i love it and i'm gonna talk about it on curl Vegas. <laughs> so um this joint is entitled say so and they go in, y'all. And this is a beautiful, beautiful record. And that's why I had to talk about it. So here's the second joint of current RB Bangers. This is PJ Morton and JoJo with Say So. So here we go. So if you love me, just say so. Because I can't play these games with you no more. Yeah, come on. So if you love me, then just say so. Uh. I need to know from you right now before I go. Come on, JoJo. You see? That last vocal run. You see what I'm saying? That's what singers can understand. Because now it seems like everybody got the Brandy complex. No shade to Brandy because she does it right on her vocal runs. But now everybody thinking just because you can do a vocal run, you like, oh, you singing. No, 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 no. Sometimes vocal runs are wrong. Y'all see how JoJo did that vocal run? And it's like, it felt like it was needed to be there and she did it. And that's what you do. You know what I'm saying? But this song right here, y'all, this song really needs to be huge because PJ and JoJo goes in on this record. And listen, y'all, the record is on all streaming platforms. Please, please, let's get this song to like a top 10 on the um, the Hot 100. You know, let's make this a number one song on the R&B charts. Like this song needs to be huge because this is some singing, y'all. Like some singing, no auto tune foolery. Like for real. And like at the end, they just go off. And I love it. And I just want to play the end and let just PJ and, and JoJo just go off. Like just listen to them blow, y'all. Like. So if you love me, just say so. Come on, y'all. Woo! Come on, man. Y'all can't tell me y'all wasn't feeling that. I wish I could play YouTube, be acting all crazy, but it's all good. This song is beautiful. Y'all is on all streaming platforms. Please, 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 please support this record, y'all. Really support this record. And that's why I have to talk about on current RB Bangers. That is JoJo 
and PJ Morton would say so. Alrighty, so now we're gonna get into a legend. A legend. Ooh, this song is just a groove, man. And I am talking about the queen of funk. I am talking about Miss Shaka Khan. Like, this, this song right here, when I first heard it, it just makes you wanna move, man. And I'm so happy these producers just came to her joint. Like, come on. Come in, come on, uh. Woo -woo -woo. I wait, come on, uh. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Banger right there, man. I talked about that on current RB bangers, maybe about what about maybe two, three videos ago. And this song makes you it's so like makes you want to go skating, but it still got like a current vibe to it. You know what I'm saying? Like an EDM flavor, but it still makes you want to go skating. It still gives you like Studio 54 type of vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just dope. So definitely had to come in with that joint to talk about the queen of funk. And speaking of Shaka Khan, I want to talk about her interview with Steve Harvey. Now, when he asked her what is the problem with music now, and the first thing that came out of her mouth was talent. And I said, Shaka, you better read. You better read. And then she said what I really like, because you know, the, the legends, that's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Shaka did it to Mary when she first came out. You know what I'm saying? She said Mary sounded flat. You know what I'm saying? That's what the legends do. But you still respect them. They just the legends. But then what I loved about the whole thing that Shaka said, the uh, the 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 sincerity is not in it no more. It's like people don't care anymore. And I was like, that's the point. It's not the fact that you know the songs are not good. You just it's just no feeling in it anymore. You don't feel like the artist really loving it. It feels like they just making it just to get that bag. You know what I mean? And that's what Shaka was just trying to say. Back then, it was their lives, and they put their selves into these records. And sometimes they didn't write it, but they put their selves into these records. And that's what I think Shaka was saying. You know what I mean? But I love the interview. I might put in the more info box so y'all can check it out. Y'all can give Steve some more um, ratings before his show go off. Oops. But, um, yeah, uh... As y'all can hear, this song is called Hello Happiness. That's what uh, the album is called. And she released it on Valentine's Day. Yes, she released it on Valentine's Day. No, she released it on the 15th. Sorry. And um, I love it. I love the album. Let me tell you something. Shaka with that fan. Shaka is letting you know I will keep a fan on deck. And it's big. And she looks good on the cover. I was like, you better go ahead, queen. You know what I'm saying? But um, I love the album. Um, my favorites are Like a Lady, Is That Enough, Too Hot, Too Hot, I'm loving. I think the whole EP is dope, you know what I mean? And definitely, I recommend y'all definitely going to check that out. But um, there's a song that I feel like that would connect to this generation if it would be a single. I like it just as well, but I think the vibe of it, because I feel like it's still Shaka and it's still funky. But it still has that kind of current knock to it. And I think if this would be a single, I think, you know, people will really, really pay attention to it. Don't get me wrong. People are still paying attention because of Shaka Khan. She's just a legend. And she definitely has her following. But the younger generation, to connect, I think this song would be dope. And to have, you know, some younger people in the video, I think it would be dope. So um, this song is entitled, um, Don't You Know? And uh, Shaka just talking her ish on this joint, and I really liked it, and I wanted to talk about it. So this is the third joint. A car army bangers is Shaka Khan, don't you know? So just just listen, Shaka talking her mess, y'all. I want to say this to you. Don't you know about me, me, me? Don't you know about me, me? How to make me feel? Make me feel good. Woo, woo, bring it in. Like, come on, man. Like, that is Shaka. Like, Shaka is the, they really call her the queen of funk. So that's funky. You hearing that? That's like some Rufus tip right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gives you that, that, that guitar on, um, um, tell me something good. Like, it just has that that funk to it, but it still got that new kind of bounce to it. And I was like, yo, if it's done right, like, that joint just, 
Come on, man. Got a little knock to it. You can move a little bit. I think it's dope. And I think this joint can be a banger. So I felt like this joint can really, really, really kind of help have a uh, hello happiness take off. You know what I mean? So this joint is entitled uh, Don't You Know. And y'all, I really recommend y'all go listen to Shock because the album is entitled again. It's entitled um, Hello Happiness. It's on all streaming platforms. Check it out, y'all. It's dope. So. That joint is the third joint on current R&B bangers. Now, y'all know how we do now. I like to do a little commercial in the middle of the bangers. You know what I'm saying? So, and let y'all know what I'm drinking on. And just an excuse to just, you know, drink a little bit. You know what I'm saying? But um, this week, as y'all can see, I am drinking um, actually a screwdriver. Do at least say which is... Uh, vodka and orange juice. Easy drink, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of Svetka, which y'all know about now is my favorite. And uh, some orange juice and a little bit of ice, because I don't like a lot of ice. Because y'all, when you get your drinks, y'all do not let the bartender put a lot of ice in your drink. Because when you do that, it don't taste right. It tastes like water. You know what I'm saying? And you just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? So I felt like a nice little drink for, you know, this video, and I didn't want to overdo it, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, let's just have a screwdriver, so a nice vodka and uh, orange juice with a little bit of uh, Gladys and uh, the Pips, uh, which this was produced by the, the legendary Ashford and Simpson. Um, and I feel like with this joint, this joint, you sing along, and you just go on, you know what I'm saying, go on, get your drink, just kind of groove to the bottle, you know what I mean? And I just think it's a dope joint. So this joint is entitled, Did You Know I Have To uh, Cry Sometimes? You ain't gotta cry, you know what I'm saying? Just groove, you know what I mean? And that's why I felt like, you know what I'm saying? It was good that I could do that quick commercial for y'all. So never can go wrong, y'all, with orange juice and vodka. All righty, so let's get back into current R&B bangers. Now this, I'm so hyped to talk about this dude. Uh, I am talking about my boy, B. Trenton. It has been a while since I have been able to talk about him. And the last time I talked about him was on this record, and uh, so be it. And, um, you know, my introduction to um, B. Trenton was, you know, on SoundCloud, because that's one thing I still love, SoundCloud, because I feel like even before the industry starts really getting involved with it, it's like you can find artists up that just put up their music, man. There's no no political mess that goes into it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, one day I was just on uh, SoundCloud and I just went to this song. I actually this song cycled through, and um, it was uh, I was like, ooh, I like this song, and it was called uh, "Drunk Words and Sober Thoughts." And uh, of course, y'all know that caught me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, what are you talking about? And it gave me the Lauren and Denzel type. I'm Denzel. Uh, D'Angelo vibe. Nothing really matters. And drunk words and sober thoughts. Oh, I'm going to listen to that joint after I finish the video. But this joint was dope, man. And the one thing that I loved about B. Trenton was them vocals. Like, this boy can sing. Period. Like, he can really sing. And I put him on the list as one of my favorite male vocalists out right now. Like, I got him. I got Avery Wilson. I got Jay Ronnell. I got um, Tone Snip on there. I got um, Frank Vocals on there. Um, it's a couple other I got on there that I can't even think right now. But one thing about B. Trenton, you can tell he is from the church. And he brings his church vocals in there. And it's real. You know what I'm saying? I don't know auto-tune needed. This boy sings. You know what I'm saying? And, I, you know, so I've been hounding him because So Be It came out last year. And I was like, yo, yo, I need another joint. When he was like, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. So finally, he brought out a new joint. And uh, he entitled it Peach. And he brought it out just in time for Valentine's Day. Um, and he goes in on this record, but like I told him, you brought me the vocals and it's still a good record. So I wanted to talk about this on Current R&B Bangers. So here is B. Trenton with Peach. And it kind of gives me like a Prince type of record, but still it's like B. Trenton because he's giving me the vocals. So here we go. Here is Peach. And just vibe to it, y'all. Here we go. Y'all 
need a background vocal too. Now listen, now listen, I am that background type of dude, you know what I'm saying, like, in a record, one thing you're going to do, you're going to sing, but I want to see what you're going to give me with the background vocals, and he giving me them, oh. see, I tried, B, I tried, I tried, I ain't as great as you are, but I tried, you know what I mean, but, um, listen, this song, see, see, what did he just do, I couldn't even talk right then, and he, he bringing that church in, y'all. What, what am I gonna do with that? What am I gonna do with that? I couldn't even do nothing. I couldn't even talk. You see how he brought that church in? Okay, okay. I let this song, whole song ride. I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. But yo, this boy goes in, and I want him to get so much shine because he can sing, y'all. We need. This. I understand it's all good, you know, y'all can use your auto-tune, which is great. I ain't hating on it, get your money. But y'all need to hear what some real vocals sound like with a dude singing to a female. You know what I'm saying? It seems like now the male singers that are mainstream want to be rappers. We don't have singers that can just sing for the females, sing to the females, and sing for the dudes. You know what I'm saying? We don't have that anymore. And Yo, this dude is dope. Listen, he deserves the exposure, y'all. Please, Peaches on all streaming platforms. Check this dude out. He is dope, y'all. I'm going to put all his information in the more info box. Definitely, definitely check him out. But Peach is on streaming platforms now. Please, please, please support Peach Trent, man. This boy sings, man. Woo! And that's a full joint on current R&B bangers. Alrighty, so we are at the last artist that I was just introduced to, um, and his name is D Natural, the New York, you know, native. He's from New York. He's actually from the Bronx, and then he, um, uh, now he's in Virginia now. So, um, yeah, I had to let him know. I was like, yo, you from New York? Okay, I'm from Brooklyn, so I'm, I'm in Baltimore now. So, you know, um, and, uh, you know, what really got me, I love a story. I love people's influences. I love that. And his influences are Otis Redding, Sam Cooke. Y'all know Sam Cooke is like a national treasure when it comes to my family. And uh, R. Kelly. And if you really hear him vocally, you can definitely see that he definitely, definitely um, has the vocal stylings of R. Kelly. You can definitely tell R. Kelly was a big influence for him but he did a video of uh sam cook a change is gonna come i'm gonna put that in more info box all i gotta say is the brother did his thing he even got on his knees and sang that record like it's a you know he and he made it his own and that's what i really enjoy um now uh as you can hear this song is uh entitled i wish i knew what i know now and uh this is from his album uh this is now and, um, you know, he had a lot of joints on there that I really enjoyed because I'm really just getting into his music. Um, but my joint on there, Gonna Miss Me, it definitely has a stepping type of vibe to it. Um, when it's over, um, you for me and me for you and here to stay. And, um, yeah, so uh, that's uh, this time is now. And I want y'all to check that out. Like I said, I'm going to put all his info in the more info box so y'all can definitely check him out. But uh, right now, I'm also getting into his uh, 2005 album that he brought out. It's called r and True. And um, I'm really into that because, like I said, I'm really just getting into his music. So I'm just checking him out. And um, I think he's dope. You know what I mean? And I really, he he said, um, if you want a full hook, he'll give you one. You know what I'm saying? Because he calls himself the song, the singer, the songwriter, and the producer. He does all his own music, you know what I'm saying? So you can't respect, you gotta, you gotta respect somebody that can do that, you know what I mean? That's talent right there. But um, the joint that I'm gonna talk about today is uh, a joint that he released like two years ago, but um, what caught me about it is, it's really my story, and once I connect to your, uh, the artist's story, and then I listen to their song, and it kind of connects to me. That's what it really, you know, I'm there. And this song entitled I Love Music, clearly y'all know that. And it just, it just, it's just 
a record that just tells my story and I connected to it and that's what it's all about what music should be about it's about connecting and I think he did that for me and I was like I'm gonna talk about this record and um, again the joint is entitled I Love Music and um, it's a dope joint and it's definitely catchy because he says it a lot in the record so here is I Love Music and uh, it goes a little something like this so here we go Whoa, I love music me up when I feel down, it has changed my world around. I love music, yeah. You always seem to give me hope, and that's why I love you so. I love music, yeah. It lifts me up when I feel down, yeah, yeah. It has changed my world around. Uh. Oh, uh, I love you so. So I like it. And if y'all can hear, you can definitely hear the vocal styles of R. Kelly. You can definitely tell he's very influenced by him. But um, he's dope. You know what I'm saying? He's smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still getting into his music. He got a lot of his music on Spotify. Um, I think he's on SoundCloud, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm going to put all his information in more info box. Definitely want y'all to check his music out. You know what I'm saying? And um, definitely give him some love. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, like I said, and like I said when I was talking about in the shopping segment, it's like now there's no sincerity in the music. And you can tell the natural put his, his, you know, his sincerity in the music. And you can feel it. I mean, he's telling this story. You know what I'm saying? Who can't say I love music? You know what I'm saying? Everybody can say that. And what the words of this record it, it connects so i think it's a dope record but y'all definitely check out d natural but he got a lot more other songs but this song i love music was dope and i wanted to talk about on current army bangers so again that's d natural with i love music oh wow so we are at the end y'all we are at the end um i gave y'all five dope joints gave y'all five dope dope joints um I gave y'all August Alcina forever and a day. Gave y'all PJ Morton and uh, JoJo with um, Say So. Yes, Say So. Sorry. Um, I gave y'all Shaka Khan, um, Don't You Know, Be Trenton with uh, Peach, and D Natural with I Love Music. As y'all can see right there, y'all, R&B and, and Soul is alive and well. Don't let, R you know, these mainstream publications and blogs that y'all know oh, R&B is dead and when an artist comes out it's like oh my god they're gonna bring R&B back to life R&B is already great with it it don't need all that kind of stuff we just need more platforms you know what I'm saying so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like I said you know like subscribe you know share this to other people so we can get you know our R&B artists the exposure and shine that they definitely deserve Alrighty, so y'all know I'm at the end of the video, and y'all know I love coming in with the new joint, but I love going out with a, uh, a classic, and I uh, definitely want to give a shout out to who's definitely my second music teacher. I am talking about Keith, my father, my uh, sins, actually, that's sins dad, but I call him my dad, and um, he's such a musical teacher, man, like the things that he was teaching me while I was in uh, Michigan, it was like, every time I was like, whoa, I didn't know that. Whoa, I didn't know that. And I know that his favorite label is um, uh, a Philly Soul. Even though he, you know, they, they live in Michigan and you would think it would be Detroit and it would be Motown. But no, he and Philly Soul, and I respect it and it makes so much sense. Even though, you know, Philly Soul was top five labels for me. But... I just was like, wow, and just the stuff that he was teaching, he's just so dope. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I definitely wanted to end on a joint that, you know, now when I listen to this song, it's going to make me think about, you know, my Michigan family and, um, you know, because they had me living for the weekend because I darn sure live for the weekend. So, I was like, why not exit out on that? And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next week. And uh, here we go. Hold on, hold on. No, we're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right, y'all. <laughs> I want to go out right, so here we go, y'all.
be dancing all day. All right, y'all. Hope we see y'all next week. I'm out. Peace.